What's going on everyone, Chris of Chaos here, and today I'm bringing you guys another sexy ass Call of Duty Ghost gameplay over here on the Carnage Clan channel. So the gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background is going to be a 43 gun streak using the MTAR X with that sexy 1987 camo gameplay is by me. And so for those of you guys who didn't know, I got introduced yesterday, I'm a newest member of Carnage. I am also a pub stomper and a commentator, so I'm going to be doing the commentary on my own video so hopefully you guys do enjoy it and a little question I have for you guys down in the comment section below for those of you guys who watch this video let me know what camos you guys bought out of all the camos and let me know which ones do you guys like the most and overall do you think it was worth the money now me myself I bought the 1987 camo as you guys can see I bought the little soap legacy pack that came with the patch the what was it the patch a little title and a custom character I bought that and I also bought the Snoop Dogg voice pack. Now, in my opinion, the two best camos in this were the Soap Camo and the 1987 Camo. The Soap Camo kind of looks like uh, Blue Tiger from COD 4, and then this one kind of looks like Spectrum, if you guys can tell. And one more thing I want to clear up before anyone asks. If the video looks a little bit bright, I do apologize for that. A random on my team end up getting a chem strike, and you guys know how it goes. When randoms get chem strikes, they can't hold it in. They just have to call it in. They feel a sudden urge to just call that chem strike in so I had to make the video a little bit brighter that way you guys can see it on certain parts because I remember like I was editing I was like dude this is so dark they're not gonna be able to see it so I had to up the brightness a little bit you can't really tell when the chem strike is called in but you can definitely tell before when the map is normal how bright it is so I do apologize if it's too bright for you guys I just had to you know fix it that way you guys could actually see something now what I want to talk about in this video is going to be pertaining to DLC but it's going to be completely opinionated because that's what I like to do with my commentaries I'm not like these other guys over here I don't really think my life is that interesting I've never you know had an orgy in Rome I've never almost fell off the Eiffel Tower or anything like that I've never been on riverboat gambling trips and made beef jerky or anything interesting like that I'm just a normal guy so I like to do my commentaries a little bit more opinionated and get you know you guys feedback on it so what I wanted to know is do you guys think it's too little too late for Call of Duty Ghost? You know, with all the DLC they've come out with. Now, you guys know, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you Call of Duty is dying, or at least Ghost is dying. That's why they're coming out with all of this DLC to try to hype the game up and try and get more people to play the game. And in my opinion, I think it's kind of too little too late because here's the, the double edged sword with that. Yeah, you're coming out with more DLC. Yeah, you're coming out with great DLC. And I have to clap my hands. For Infinity War, usually, you know, I'm always one of the guys tweeting Tina, uh, you know, telling her, tweeting people at Infinity War, saying I hope they get ran over by a bus. Which some people may say I take the game a little bit too seriously, but trust me, man, there's only so many times you can get thrown and knifed off chem strikes before you just completely flip a switch. But it's kind of like it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's like okay, we're creating all this good DLC, but at the same time, if your game isn't good, no one is gonna buy the DLC. Which I feel like. Instead of, you know, adding all these voice packs, which, you know, the voice pack is nice. I bought the Snoop Dogg one. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't let me download the Sergeant Gunner map, uh, the Sergeant Gunner voice pack. I don't know what was up with that. But, yeah, the DLC is nice and everything. But if your game isn't good, I don't care how good DLC you come out with. No one's going to want to buy it because of the fact that your game is bad. So, I feel like it's a little bit too late for a Ghost. I don't think any DLC that they come out with, unless they come out with DLC that makes the game good, I feel like it's kind of too late and I feel like Ghost is pretty much at its point where it's dead. You guys see a lot of people on YouTube uploading other Call of Duties. Carnage has been uploading other Call of Duties. Me, myself, on my channel, I have been uploading other Call of Duties strictly because of the fact Ghost isn't that good of a game. This is just one of those games where you come on sparingly. Like, I play this game maybe three or four times a month and I have fun those three or four times I play. But whenever I try to sit down and have fun with this game and play it consistently it just doesn't work so let me know down in the comment section down below do you guys think it is too little too late for infinity ward or do you guys think ghost is a good game so anyway guys that's all i have to say for now i'm gonna leave you guys with snoop dogg's voice my name is chris of chaos i'm out of here peace out Who a bitch to me? Never been a paraplegic game with PD feeder, so I guess all that's left is victory. Damn right. Bring heat in the six degree and dare any other nigga try and bitch at me. I walked in white shirt, black chase, no heart, and I left that bitch with a crimson tear. This is your worst fear. Let me make my words clear. The walk feels so good, you get blown away. So sweet dreams, your heart extend that beautiful death.